Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about designer dupes. As I've mentioned before, I am a little shopaholic. Um, I have always loved a good designer item, but I can't always buy them like at the frequency that we see them online, obviously, right? And not only that, I don't think you should because there's so many pieces that are just trend pieces. So I would say I can splurge on maybe one or two designer handbags a year, um, shoes, it's really iffy because I barely started dipping my toes in designer shoes, but all I'm saying is I can't, I'm not, it's not like every month I'm buying a new designer item, but I have rounded up some of my favorite dupes that I have bought personally. And I will say some of them, whenever I shop, I don't always look for, for something that looks exactly the same every single time. Sometimes I just go for like the same, the best way I can put it is vibe. Like it gives me the same energy as like the item that I'm looking for. And I'll explain more with some of these pieces. So yeah, let's get started. So first I will pick um, these shoes. We'll go by brand first because I have a couple that are duplicates. So this one is Chanel. So these are from Vanelli. I bought these probably like three years ago and I love them. I have always wanted like that classic Chanel uh, shoe. Like, you know, I'll put a picture above of like all the items that I'm speaking of so you know. So I don't know if Benelli makes this style exactly anymore, but I will find similar ones because I know they still have some and I know other brands have something similar. So this is like the classic like Chanel um, ballerina with the heel style. Um, again, I barely started dipping my toes with designer heels and this shoe was just not one that I felt comfortable doing just yet because my style would, I would say I'm more casual and not like preppy or dressy and I feel like this sometimes, and I felt like this could pull too preppy. No, this looks so cute with like cut off jeans, or not cut off jeans, but like jeans that are more of like the mom or like dad style, like just wider jeans. I wore these so much when I was going into the office at work as well because I felt like they were more my style and not like the classic like you know ballerina flat from Aldo that we all wore back in the day. So these are a good buy. I think these are like a hundred dollars versus the Chanel ones that are like I want to say nine hundred. Um, it's actually a reasonable price for a Chanel shoe and given how much I wore these I think I would eventually splurge for a Chanel one but in a fun color because I already have these and what I've noticed about myself is I don't like buying the same item very frequently again because it, then it's redundant right so like I'd rather get a fun style because then I would just gravitate towards these whenever I needed like a gray one but they're so comfy easy to wear and yeah it's a low heel I could wear them all day and they're very cute. Chanel dupe are these forever 21 dad sandals um I will say that I have worn these to death and they're forever 21. They're $24. They're obviously not real leather. You get what you pay for. They feel like a forever 21 shoe, but it gets the job done and it gets the vibe that I, and it gives my outfits the vibe that I'm going for. That said, I was thinking like, oh, if I love those enough, maybe I'll splurge for like a $300 pair, $200 pair of like similar style um, Chanel dupes that are actually leather. Honestly, I don't feel the need to because at the point, I'm at the point where I'm like, these are fine and I'm at the extreme, like I'll wear these until they're, you know, done for. And then like, if I were to splurge on another dad sandal like this, it's going to be the Chanel one. I'm weird like that with extreme sometimes and I know that's not normal, but I just don't, I'm not going to get the satisfaction out of the $300 pair or even the $200 pair as I would the Chanel one. So that's why I'm like, why bother? So these are good for now. I will link them down below. They're actually a popular item with my like to know it. Like I've, a lot of people have bought them and um, yeah, they give you the vibe. I feel like they're also one of the closest looking to, or they're the most similar looking ones to like the Chanel ones. So yeah, I highly recommend those. The next one is going to be Bottega Veneta. So again, that has been a hot brand the past couple years. Summer specifically, I feel like they blew up a couple summers ago. Anyway, I loved that, I think it's called the dumpling bag and it's like the, you'll see, it's like the one that's like squishy. I wasn't willing to spend that much money on a clutch bag. So when I saw this Yusefi one, I thought that it gave me the similar, like I said, vibe or energy as that bag. Because if you can see, it has like this scrunch up look. You can open it and it's like, you know, like that, except this one comes with a strap and it comes with, um, 
and it comes with like this little small one. So you um, you can wear it multiple ways. You can wear it like this in the crook of your arm. You can wear it just like this under your arm, or you could wear it as a crossbody, which is actually more ways than like the Bottega Veneta one. And I think this was under $300 if I'm not mistaken. And now they have a new one where they have, instead of this, they have like a chain, which is really cute. And I'm pretty sure it came out like right after I bought this, which is okay. Um, but yeah, this is like one of those examples where I feel like it's easy to find something that's like a replica, essentially, um, kind of like the Chanel sandals where they're like made to look exactly like that. Whereas this is like, it's the same energy. It's a little different. And honestly, I don't think I've ever seen someone in person have this bag, which I kind of like. I kind of like, like I've seen a lot of people with like the dad sandals, but I kind of like that this is a little different, but it's still, like I said, the same, um, the same concept as Bottega Veneta's. I will link similar sales as well. Yuzefi is a Spanish brand. I have a couple bags from Yuzefi and I really like them. They are they actually just came out with a clothing line and I kind of want to save up for one of their blazers because I really like them and I like how not many people know about them as well. My next Bottega Veneta dupe, um, I have the ever popular Coach Pillow Tabby. So again, this is the same concept as with the Yuzefi. This doesn't look exactly like those bags by Bottega, but it gives me the same energy because it's like squishy. Like all of the Bottega bags, and I'll put pictures here, like the cassette bag, they all have that squishy leather that just like, oh, I just feel so luscious. Um, I couldn't spend, cause those cassette bags are now, um, so the last time I looked, I think they were like 23 or 2400, and now they're almost like closer to 3000. Like, the only way I'll be able to get that bag or justify that bag would be like if I find it at like last call. And that's like a situation where I would probably, like if I would find it, I'd splurge on it and then I just know I can't buy another bag the rest of this. So it gives me the same energy, like you can hold it like this, like kind of like the dumpling bag as well. Um, this one comes with straps. I don't know why I didn't have these. Okay, this one also comes with straps. So you can wear it three ways. You can wear it just like I showed you underneath your arm. You can wear it with this, like just underneath your shoulder, or it comes with the crossbody. So normally I either wear it with the crossbody or um, just underneath my shoulder as a clutch. So unfortunately this color sold out and I don't think it's available anywhere anymore. So I'm glad, this was one where I was like glad I just pulled the trigger. I'll insert a picture of me wearing this. So this was one where I was glad I just pulled the trigger because I thought about it for a while because I think this retails $4.99 and of course it was never part of like those like sales that Coach has. So I used my better judgment. I pulled the trigger. I got it and it ended up being my birthday gift to myself. Well, to, for my husband too because let's be real, it's our money. Anyway, so yeah, like I am so glad I pulled the trigger on that one because that color is sold out. I think it's only available now in green and um, black and maybe pink, but this color, I don't know, it's just like so good and I don't have any bags this color. And then they came out with like the smaller bags, which are so cute. Like the little lime green one is adorable. Um, I thought I was gonna pull the trigger and get one of those small ones too, because I was worried that they were gonna sell out, but honestly, I'm fine with this one. Um, I got another pastel colored bag, which was the vibe I was going with with like the pillow ones. So I think I'm fine in that regard for now. But yeah, whenever you're like trying to find a dupe, don't try to find like the exact item. Also look for things that, like I said, give you the same energy, like this one, squishy leather. Okay. On to the next. One of my favorite shoe designers right now is Amina Mwadi. If you don't know, she's, um, I think she's a British designer, but her shoes like Kylie Jenner wears them, Hailey Bieber, like every anyone who's anyone like in the celebrity, like when it comes to fashion, they are always wearing them, but they are so hard to find. My parents got me like a nice pair of heels for my birthday and I was considering getting those, but I could not find them anywhere. So I got something else instead. But anyway, I was perusing Nordstrom and I found these, these even down to like the heel. So I guess, let me back up. Amina Mwadi is known for like, my husband calls it a mushroom heel. It like expands at the base, which people say makes them comfortable to walk in because it's like more sturdy and they're just beautiful. Like, like I said, I'll show you pictures of her shoes right now. But yes, I stumbled upon these on Nordstrom and I had to have them. I actually got these, um, and wore them for my birthday. And I even wore them to Target one day. Like that's how comfortable these are. It's the square toe heel that's very popular right now. 
but they look exactly like the Gilda. They even have like the bottom mushroom heel. And I don't know, I was surprised with how comfortable they were. I wore them all night for my birthday. I wore them to Target. I'm probably gonna take them to Vegas with me. But yes, this is a very good alternative to the Amino Wadi shoes that, like I said, are expensive and hard to find. And if you get them on the second market, they're even like worse. I think they were like going for like $1,500. Again, I'm not gonna spend $1,500 on like, especially shoes like this, like the Chanel ones, I could justify cost per wear because that's something that I would wear more often since it is flat, but these, no. Um, I will say that Jeffrey Campbell also has other sandals that look a lot like other Amino Wadi shoes. So I will link some of those be uh, below as well just as some options. My favorite designers right now is Jacques Mousse. So the best way I can describe Jacques Mousse is basics, but makes them, I don't even wanna say elevates them, he just makes them quirky. Like I have one of his uh, button, button up shirts and it's like cropped and then it also has like a suspender looking thing. It's just like different. Like he takes basics and like does cutouts on them or he, like that's another brand that like Hailey Bieber wears all the time, or he'll have like the blazers and then it'll have like a string here and then it's like open and she has like a bralette underneath. Anyway, all that to say, these Zara shoes give me Jacques Mousse vibes. All this, I immediately thought it was Jacques Mousse, so I'll show you the heel that I'm talking about. So they're very different, like they're not the same by any means, but like I said, go for something that gives you the same vibe. Like fashion should inspire you. You shouldn't always try to like mimic everything down to a T, you should like put a spin on it. And also do stuff within your means. If you have a shoe that's kind of similar and it reminds you of it, wear it the way you see it, you know? Anyway, so that Jacques Mouche shoe has, it almost looks like a cushion. Like it has like a separation, like it has different fabric here, but this is all one fabric, but it still gave me that vibe because of the way that they did the stitching. And then obviously strappiness, just like, you know, what's popular right now. And then he also does a lot of like colors like this, like this green, or he does a lot of pinks. Um, so that's why these reminded me of them. I've worn these a couple times now and they are so comfortable. Like I wore them all day just working at home. Like granted I wasn't walking around, but like obviously I could have had my Nike slides on, but they're so comfortable and I think what helps is this cushion. I will say um, that this strap, I think they just made it an awkward length because it doesn't wrap around my ankle twice. I also think I have big ankles. But um, I just tuck it in. I'm probably gonna put like another hole in here or something. Um, I've just been too lazy to do that, but I've been wearing them with pants. So like, it doesn't matter that I just have this tucked in. But yeah, highly recommend. And I think I paid $30 for these when they were on sale. I'll link them below, they're still available. And last but not least, Hermes dupes. So I wanted the Hermes or Rayan sandals for the longest time. I'm honestly not a sandal girl. Like I'm actually surprised that I have like the Chanel ones in here as well because I've never been a, sh a sandal girl. I don't know why I've just never felt confident wearing them. I prefer closed toe shoes. Like I'll wear other things in the summer. Like I would gravitate towards a loafer in the summer before doing this. So that's why I didn't want to spend the money on the Orion sandals when I first wanted them. I just didn't think I'd get the use. Well, I'm not a flip-flop person either, but like in the summer, I like it was getting hot. I'm like, okay, like I can't always wear loafers. I can't always wear sneakers. Like I'm a fashion girl. Like it's not always going with my outfit. And I felt like it was just killing the vibe sometimes. Well, I found these Kurt Geiger um, dupes and they don't have the H. And I guess let me back that up. When the Hermes or Rain sandals are blowing up on social media, everyone and their mother had those Sam Edelman ones with like the fake age. I'll show you those. It drove me insane because I have this weird thing where I don't like it when something tries too hard to look like something else when it's like not working and it's an obvious fake, which I know is contradictory because those Forever 21 dad sandals are like obviously trying to look like the Chanel, Chanel ones, but it's not like I'm gonna give you an example. It's not like it's trying to put like a Chanel pin here or like a pin here to make it look like they're the Chanel ones. You know what I mean? Like they're just plain. Whereas like the Sam Edelman ones, I felt were trying too hard because they tried doing like the H, like the Hermes sandal has, and it drove me up the wall. And also everybody and their mother had those, which I guess you could argue everybody had the or Orion ones, but whatever, I digress. I got these Kirk Geiger ones. And I honestly think they're cuter than the Sam Edelman ones. Um, they're a little different. It actually has like the Kurt Geiger logo here. They were over a hundred dollars, but under two hundred dollars. I was shocked at how much I was wearing these. Like, and they're really dirty, dirty on the bottom, so I'm gonna put them down. So this is what they look like. The summer I got them, I took them on a trip. 
um because i don't like wearing flip-flops to the beach so i wore those instead i wore them like every like if i just had to run a quick errand i was putting those on shorts i was putting those on jeans i was putting those on they were just like so effortless and i think that's why i liked the hermes uh sandals because i saw how effortless they were with um girls online and their outfits so i will say this year i did make the plunge or i did take the plunge and i got the hermes ones and i was worried that i wasn't gonna be like that i wasn't gonna be as excited or happy about getting them since it's been like years later but no i'm so happy i got them i regret not getting them sooner but i understand that you know $120 sandals are more affordable than $600, $700 with tax. So these are a great option. And I guess I'll compare them just so you can see. So like you see, like it's still the same like vibe of the shoe, except you could tell that it's not trying to be the shoe. I don't know. I like this and I like this better than the Sam Edelman one, but I will link these down below. If you're on the fence about getting these and you think, oh, they're not in style anymore. A shoe like this is always going to be in style. If you think you'll wear them, get them. Like I, like I said, I regret not getting them sooner and I kind of want them in another color as well. I think I, either black or white, but I think I would probably gravitate towards black or they also have a cool um, denim looking one. That would be awesome. And I'm obsessed with the new furry ones, but I think my feet would sweat in them. So I don't think I'd get those, but yeah. Like I said, I can't spend money on every single designer item that I lay my eyes on. I really need to choose and be strategic because it's just not within my budget. So these are all items I love and 100% recommend. Like I said, don't you don't always need to find something that looks exactly the same. You could go with something that has like the same vibe, right? So let me know down below if there's like a designer item that you've been wanting but you would prefer to find a dupe and I would love to make um, another video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all and I'll see you next time.